Hello, hello everyone. Michelle here with MMB Creations. We are doing Halloween today. So, I was going to do this a little different um, and put the main character in an ornate frame, but the back was just not working out really well. So, I am going to be doing an evergreen leaf base. So this is a 24 inch evergreen leaf base. Um, you can get these in a lot of places if you can't find them, if you don't have any right now. I always get mine from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're my favorite. And when I get them around Christmas time when they go 50% off. Now I know Hobby Lobby um, is not doing 50% off anymore. So if they go 40% off, um, I don't know, I may have to just do some price checking somewhere and see see what other wholesalers have. But anyway, this is a 24 inch round evergreen arranged base. So what I do is I squish it to where it's oblong. Okay, I just hold it, push it. If these come apart, it's fine. It's no big deal. I know that one just popped, but it's okay. I'll show you how to fix it. Okay, see how that one just popped? Okay, so we're just going to keep it that oval. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm going to kind of go through here because this is the one that popped. Okay. And see if I can get this one to stay. Get it around. Come on. I didn't want to do it. Okay. Fine. Then I'll show you if a zip tie doesn't work, then you can just take a tie and just kind of wrap it around. Okay. I'm going to do it kind of snug. Okay. Just like that. No big deal. Okay. So, um, I've got four different colors of mesh. I am using. I only use 10 inch mesh. Um, now, if you have 21 inch mesh, you can definitely use that too. You can do this on a wreath base form. You can even do this on a grapevine. Whichever wreath base that you're comfortable with. So, um, she is really big. We're going to be making her today. So you can see she's pretty pretty big. She's 22 inches long. So she takes up the whole wreath. She's going to end up sitting up here like this so we can put a bow down at the bottom. Okay. Oh, yeah, I did drop that. Okay. So I'm going to build up the um, wreath base. So how I do this is I don't measure anything. Let me cut the end of this because it's looking pretty raggedy. So I'm using copper, uh, gold, black, and purple. Okay, so the main colors are going to be the copper, the black, and the purple. But she's got a little bit of gold in her in her tiara, and maybe a little bit of gold in some of the um, sprays that I have. So, so I'm, I just hold it up until my hand is about um, shoulder length. Okay, so it's about, you need to measure, okay, this is about um, 15 to 17 inches, okay, and then I just take it and I roll the ends in like this, and I scrunch it, and I'm going to start from the bottom, I'll do a few and then I'll kind of fast forward this because this part gets coming on us. Okay, I'm going to take the black. You know, it doesn't matter which order you go in. You can go in in any order you want. Okay. Um, and I'm just going maybe a couple inches next to the neck, the the one I just put in, so they don't even have to be a certain uh, length apart. Okay. 
take the gold. This is a good way to use up your leftover mesh. These are all leftover meshes that I have. Okay. Now you could put them in this way, um, but you're going to end up adding more mesh. I like to put mine in up like this. Um, because it fills it up a little bit better and when you get to the top it's actually going to make a bed for you so th this to sit on and you'll see what I mean when I get to that point okay so then I'm going to add the purple and I got all this mesh from craft outlet I will have the um links to where I got everything in the description box below and if you want to get notifications of more lives and tutorials and that kind of thing make sure you're subscribing to my channel um, and make sure you hit the notification box at the top um, so you can get notifications otherwise um, you won't know when I go live okay so I'm just going to go all the way around the bottom then I'm going to go in the middle or up the next row up and then I will be right back. got this bed of mesh um, see how when you do the the mesh going this way how it makes kind of a bed for your attachment to sit on I don't want you to worry about all the green that you see um, once we put her on if we see any big clumps of green then we can fill it in with some more mesh now if you had too big of a hole right here and you wanted to fill it in more what you can do is you can put a um, tie two ends of a pipe cleaner together. Let's say these are two pipe cleaners. You just twist these together, okay? And then you would um, go across and then underneath these uh, rings right here and then tie the ends together. And then you can take a, um, a ruffle and then twist a pipe cleaner around it and then put it down on the the pipe cleaner that's going across okay so that's one way to fill in that gap so we're going to go ahead and put her on now i do have pipe cleaners on here but they i know i'm going to need more so i'm going to get two pipe cleaners okay i'm just going to fold them in half this cut on so I'm going to make each one a little bit longer okay, so I'm just going to take the ends here and this is what I was talking about when you tie the ends together okay just twist it around each other I love these colors together. You know, with these colors together, um, with the copper and the gold, you could definitely hang this through uh, fall. Doesn't have to be just Halloween because it's got all the fall colors. You can add pumpkins to this. Um, we are going to add some fall leaves into this, so this is something that could definitely be hung all through the autumn season. Um, you know how like uh, with Christmas people keep up their Christmas stuff through um, even part of the middle of January? Same thing. Okay. 
you know what I was realizing <laughs> when I was um, putting the mesh in this copper matches her hat almost identical if you can't get any more matchy matchy than that okay so we're gonna put her on here to where her the top of her hat is kind of meeting the um, end of this mesh right here okay because we're gonna put a big bow down here underneath her chin and normally I would make a bow but I just didn't feel like it honestly okay so I'm just gonna put this one through here this one through the other side of the ring. Mm -hmm. okay. Ties like to get in the way. Okay, so there's that one. I'm going to turn her around and do the top here. Way. I'm just wrapping it around the ring. I'm gonna make sure the sheet is even, Steven. Mesh out a little bit. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay, she is not going anywhere. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Now I may kind of glue her down a little bit um, just because I don't want her moving. So I'm just going to kind of put some glue where her hat is touching. Mm -hmm. Her ruffles. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, um, I may put a couple more pieces of mesh in here just because I can see a lot of green in here at the bottom. I ran out of gold, which is fine. I don't want a whole bunch of gold in here. I'm going to put one right down here. Okay. I'm not going to worry about right here because her bow is going to go right here. Put some glue right here. And, and there. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to put a purple one right here. This big clump of green right there. Once I put her bow in, I don't think there's any up here, although I might put a purple piece right here. That should take care of this roll. 
I save these. You don't. You don't have to save these rolls, but I save them because I use them for the inside of my uh, wire ribbon. I make wire ribbon too, so I, I save those and cut those. I also, you can save those and use them to curl your ribbon too. Which, if I do that, um, on this, I'll show you how to do that. Really easy way to curl your ribbon. one's kind of sticking out so now I need one over here <laughs> and then it's a black one so I'm just gonna put a little bit of copper right there they have this um, they call it antique metallic in gold copper and silver love it white they call it white foil it's my favorite mesh I use a lot of this copper and the gold and the silver um, for New Year's Steampunk, that kind of thing. All right, so there's that. There we go. All right, there she is. Okay, so let's get a ribbon. So I got three ribbons. Um, I've got some Dupioni purple, so it's kind of shiny. Um, I got this from Craft Outlet. I have not seen them carry it anymore. So any kind of purple will do. So this is um, RGA113823. Again, Craft Outlet. This one is a um, scroll damask copper like taffeta ribbon. Um, I actually got this on Etsy. Or not Etsy, but um, eBay. It's a 50 yard roll and it's through um, Sam's West Incorporated. I've never heard of them. But um, don't forget to check you know, eBay and things like that for ribbons. But any copper ribbon will do. And then these are both two and a half inch. And this is a one and a half inch 50 yard roll of black velvet. This one I did get from Craft Outlet and it's number 875-09249. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I think I'm going to put the copper first. I don't know. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Sometimes it doesn't always work out so well. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Like that. I know I want the black on the outside because it's a smaller ribbon. And I like it the other way better. So the purple first and then the copper. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail my ribbon. So how you dovetail is you put your ribbon wire to wire and you cut up at an angle and get that really pretty dovetail. Just like that. Okay. So let's see, how long do I want my tails on here? So I'm going to put them probably about 27 inches long. This stuff is falling off my table. Okay, so I do all my bows by hand. Um, you can do this in a bow maker, it's no big deal. So I'm going to pinch it, and I'm going to make a loop, make a fairly big loop, yeah. So this loop is about 8 inches, okay, and twist this towards you, twist this so the right, the ugly side is up. Okay, and then you just fold this in, or fold it up, I guess you could say, okay? And 
You want a bunny ear test, make sure they're even. These don't have to be even. The tails do not have to be even, you guys. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. make these a little bit shorter than the purple. I usually find a tie, okay, and I put it in between the ties. Let's see right here. And there's going to be another one right here. There we go. Okay, so I want my ties going up and down, one up, one one at the top, one at the bottom, and then I'm going to take my bow here. Let's see if this. I'm going to stick it. No, oh, hold on. I'm going to do this a little different. Because I'm going to kind of stick this underneath her chin. So, I'm going to pipe cleaner it. Okay, so I'll put a pipe cleaner. So, when you put a pipe cleaner on and when you pinch it, See how it doesn't look like there's much room, but when you pull it down like that, you're, there's this gap, and you want to make sure that that gap is filled. Um, let me get another bit thinner. Yeah, that's gonna be too short. Okay, just gonna add it onto here. So I want her chin to be resting in the middle. You know, I, I realize I got a brooch, a purple brooch that I could put inside the ribbon. See, I buy stuff and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And then I come up with something like this. Okay, we're just going to kind of nail these down. You don't want to pull it down too far because it'll suck your bow in. Okay, I'm look right up against her chin right here. And then I'm going to take this bow and I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. Go underneath 
Eat, eat the hoe. And push it up and hold it like this on her chin. Okay. Because I really want her chin to be on top of the bow so it looks like it's part of her and not separate from her, if that makes any sense. So you just got to kind of hold it. So what I'm going to do here, because I have a big purple brooch, I'm going to kind of move these over to the side a little bit. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here, and some right here. I'm just touching her chin. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to rip that. I'm going to get my brooch that I just remembered I had. It's like, oh, I've got a purple one. Purple and gold, but that's okay. So is her tiara. Kind of matches. I mean, it's a different color purple. That's quite alright. See? And it'll make it pop against that glass ribbon. Um, I got this on Amazon, I think. I've had this for a couple years, so you can find these these big brooches like this pretty much anywhere. So how I do this, I take the pin off the back, I just take my needle nose pliers and hold it and twist it. Okay. And I want this, I'm going to kind of press this down and kind of go right here. I want to make sure my ribbon is where I want them before I start gluing this down. This is kind of trying to twist. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'll press that down a little bit. Alright. So, I'm going to put a bunch of glue right here. I have to get it on my fingers. Just kind of put it right underneath her chin. Okay, that's why you want to make sure that your ribbon is where you want it, because once you glue this in, you're not going to be able to really move it. I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. All right, let me dovetail these while I have waiting. Okay, so I'm going to dovetail these. I want to let that sit and cool so it dries before I put it up on the east or it's going to fall right off because it is kind of heavy. sit for a minute. I'm going to put her up on the easel and then um, I will be right back. Okay, here we are. I should have some purple feathers. I put purple feathers right here in her hat. Well, I'll see if I have some purple feathers and if I do, I may add them at the end, but we'll see. Alright, there she is. She's getting all blinged out. Bling, bling, bling. Um, I had to cut these because I accidentally dripped uh, super glue on this. And you, it just didn't look good. I was going to try to save it, but I couldn't. So I just had to cut it. Alright, here we go. 
Okay, so let's get cracking. Kind of get you down here. There we go. So we got some flowers. I, wanna, I think I want to kind of put the flowers in first. I got some of these um, brown and cream. These are from Hobby Lobby. These are $4.99. Well, when I bought them, they were $4.99. Now, the price I'm going to give you for Hobby Lobby is for the flowers and the greenery is um, the price before their sales price. Okay. So this is $4.99. The number is 535500. And I think they carry these all year long. And then I've got a couple of these. These are from Hobby Lobby, but these are in their flower pick section, so these don't ever go on sale. This is $1.99. Um, the number is 1705052. Okay. And I've got these two. These are cute. Um, these are also $1.99. And um, the number is 1704865. Then. I got these peonies left over from another um, design, and I get a lot of my peonies from Amazon. Um, I love their peonies, they have them in different colors, different shades, so I think I'm going to start with some of these purple. Now if you didn't have a brooch um, and you wanted to put something in the middle, you could put like one of these big flowers in the middle, that would be really pretty right here. But we're going for the bling, 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 just because we even have some jewels to put in there, uh, which I might put in first, I'm not even thinking about it. So I got these jewels a while back from, um, what is it called, Winter Wonderland or Wonderland? Um, but I know a lot of people carry these on Etsy. They even have the big ones. Um, I do have the big purple ones. But I don't have them in my shop anymore, but you can put the big purple ones in here. You could put the gold ones in here. She's going to have some light. Okay. So we've got a bunch of purple going on over here, so I'm going to kind of put this right here by her hat, and then maybe this one right, right here. Another purple, let's see, right here, kind of tuck it in a little bit, right there. Okay. Uh, I tuck it in. I don't want the flowers to end up hiding it. That's what I'm going to put right here. Okay, so make sure it's right side up. I've done that before. Put some jewels in and it was... <laughs> and the back side was showing and I'm like... Oh, there is me. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of put that one right there. See how that purple just pops with that copper against the block? So pretty. Now you'll know the back, this is the front, okay, and this is the back. It's not as pretty. It's very dull and not as shiny. So I'm going to put this one in the kind of right here. Okay, I'm going to have to glue it and hold it. I'm going to put this side that has a little nick on it in that way. Okay, so I'm going to put the little on the side. Of course, I need another glue stick. Hope everyone has a fantastic and safe Memorial Day. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this right here. And hold up. Okay. 
and then we'll put the flowers in. This is like one of my favorite color palettes for Halloween is copper and purple. I don't know. It's just, it's not orange. It's like got that metallic look to it, which I love. Okay. I'm going to kind of try to put some right here. Blue ribs are my nemesis, you guys. Okay. So, I'm going to take some of these purple. I may not use all of them. I've used some of them. Um, I don't really want the greenery because it's just too bright. Okay. I'll keep it kind of, I'm going to cut these off too. Now, if I was putting these in a spring design, I probably definitely would keep those in. Uh, let's see. I'll put this one over here. I'm going to cut it. Now, if you have a steamer, which I do, I just haven't gotten any help, you can definitely steam these so they're not so scrunched up. right there because there's purple right here already. Okay. And we'll take another one. If I end up using all of them, I end up using all of them, but I don't anticipate using all of them. I just kind of, I have an idea in my head of um, how I want it to look um, and then once I start designing it usually ends up pretty close but sometimes it'll be different or even better so it's kind of designing on the fly even though I have a template already in mind this one like right down here I'm gonna cut that though And I have a, um, a blue pot too. I just don't want to, I just don't want to get it out. I'm just being lazy, you guys. See, it's even got these little purple ones too. And it's got buds. I think I used all the buds. Let's see here. My biggest um, hurdle with making wreaths is putting too much. And I have a hard time knowing when to stop. So I'm trying to be good um, and not put too much in. Let's see here. Put one here, one here. Put one right there. Kind of like purple going on right there. So I might put. Let's see, I'm going to put this one over here in the copper. Okay. Right there. You'll be able to see it better with the copper right there. Okay, there we go. Um, I might put those aside, and you might use those more later, but I'm going to put these in. And I just realized before I put these in, I need to put my other ribbon in. I'm like, why does this look so naked? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to put my other ribbon in. Uh, okay, so let's do that. Before I start messing with flowers, I'll be like, why is there no ribbon in this? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and dovetail this. Mm -hmm. 
this is like my favorite purple ribbon and I'm so sad that they don't carry it anymore. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this on top. Okay, so I'm going to scrunch these. Okay, so I'm making a tail that's about 8 inches long. missing something. I'm like, what is going on? Then, I'm going to cascade it. I'm going to just kind of bring it down and cascade it like that. Tighten this up a little bit. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh my goodness. There is something seriously wrong here because I'm like missing something. I got a little too eager with the flowers, you know. What happens? Okay, now with this side, um, I'm gonna put like a little loop up here and make like maybe a double. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna tear this. Okay. And tail a little longer. And the other one. So this is about ten and a half inches long. And I'm the same thing with this. I'm not gonna dovetail that yet. Okay. So I'm gonna make this the loop. Hold on. I'm not doing this right. Let me do this one one at a time. Okay. And then we're going to twist it. this right here with this Make it a little longer okay. and I'm gonna put this up here and push it down a little bit Then I think what I'm going to do is do another tail right here. So, take my purple and do two more dimensions. We're going to add some more black too. I want to get these two and a half in there. Okay. So, I'm going to kind of put these right here. I'm going to put this in first and then I'll cut it to how much I need the length on it. Okay. Okay. I'm 
cut these bones about the same length as over here. So it doesn't look like it's uneven. This is not, it keeps trying to turn on me. I don't know what to deal with. Here we go. Better. these. I'm so glad I bought this copper ribbon. Because I've only I've used this three times and I still have all this <laughs> and I have a little bit of my favorite ribbon left. So quiet. I can use this for like a lantern swag or something because I don't think there's yeah there's not enough for another big design. Can use it for a great vine. Okay. I'm gonna put some black in there. actually need any more black because we got black here and a bunch of black right there so I think we're actually going to do this black velvet will last me for ever okay. all right now let's get back to meeting with her so now that I've got I'm going to put this right here. Okay. There we go. I need some height up there. Alright. Now, take these the cuts. There we go. I'm like perched. forward. She's so pretty. Okay. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, let's see. This is still for the right place. I don't know what's going on with it.
one. I think this one wants to go. That's why. And the purple wanted to go the other way. <laughs> it was like, okay. Let's put this one up right here. This is going to drive me insane because it doesn't look right right here. So, what I'm going to do okay, I'm going to take this put it down to 16 inches. We're going to use it. We're going to do something else instead. I keep looking at it, I'm like, something is just not right. Okay, we're going to make tails with this. I'm going to put it behind the hat. doesn't look like you just gotta fix it. I thought I was done. Sorry. So sorry. <laughs> oh, <it's done. laughs> okay, here we go. We'll get done with this ribbon eventually. <laughs> you know, we're designing here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put this in front and let's see, I'm gonna kind of cascade. Let's see if I do it like this. Put this right here. just easier to design than others, so, you know, it happens. Driving me crazy. Yeah, that's better. 
¿verdad? We're done now with the ribbon. Okay. Upward and onward, right? Huh. If this does end up being too long, I will cut it. So much better. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's take another one of these. And let's see where I want with this one. Okay, here. I don't want to put it next to our hat because there's already a lot of copper up there. Okay, so I'm going to put one right here. Do you ever have those designs that just, I don't know, even though it shouldn't be that hard, it just is? <laughs> For some reason, I don't know. It is, you know. See what I mean? Like I, I we'll get it, we'll get it figured out, right? There we go. Okay. I know it's against the copper, but it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of these. Um, I'm gonna put in one of these down at the bottom. the other one down here, but it just didn't, I had another one right next to it, so, you know. This one. I'm gonna put one out to the side over here. So I'm gonna put it over here to see how far it can go. Cut a little bit. I'm gonna put one over there. Going. Oh God, would you stop touching your ribbon? Stop touching it. Just stop touching it. This one at the top. Just like that. Okay. I still need one down here. Mm -hmm. 
It's just so fast, you guys. I am going to touch my ribbon. Right. <laughs> it just, that is one of my pet peeves, is a ribbon not staying where it's supposed to stay. Okay, now, let's put in, I've got some of this that's really, really pretty. Look you know how sparkly that is. Now, I got this a long time ago. Actually, let's put this in first. Sorry. I'm going to put it all over the place. I'm going to put in some of this first. That's pretty. So, I brought four of these in. I'm not sure how many I'm really going to need. But, they all kind of came out together. So, I figured, well, they, hey, they wanted to join the party. Even though some of them were not invited. Okay, so let's kind of cut these up. I'm going to put this right here. And this one right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. And then right here. Okay, so we'll start there. Um, I am. I'm going to put this one at the top since it's a longer piece. It's just kind of peeking, peeking, peeking. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a little piece up there with that purple. my ribbons later. I'm just tired of touching them, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to stick this longer piece down at the bottom. Give it some length. Oh, I love those leaves with this. the leaves where I have flowers. Okay. So I've got a little bit of a longer stem. I'm going to put it behind here. It kind of hangs down a little bit like that. And the same thing with this one. Okay. 
Let's see here. Let me see. Oh, I need some over here. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to need another flower. So, let's take one. I think I need one right here. I know there's a lot of purple there, but I'm just taking another brown flower. So this will kind of break this up a little bit. I'm not putting it right there. Okay. So even though there's a lot of purple right there, you can break it up with the other colors. Okay. Not looking pretty so far. Alright. Get another one. So I've used two. Um, and these are actually from Regency. Regency International. It's a, a wholesaler. You have, do have to have a, um, a tax ID in order to order from them. I'm going to make some of these a little longer. I want some in hanging out. I guess these are supposed to be like that, but it always looks like there's something missing off of it, so I cut these off. And I need this to be hanging out the other side. Soothing, you guys. This is hurt my back. Me and my lazy Susan. There we go. Oh, I can turn her. There we go. And so she's gonna be. There we go. back won't hurt anymore. <laughs> that was like a back hurt. Let's see. Let's put one up here. You don't want to forget the sides. Right. One was facing one way and the other facing the other way. So we'll fix that. Mm -hmm. 
of your design so that way because normally I will put flowers in my where the uh, ribbon is meeting the tie but I didn't want to put too many flowers in here because I wanted to keep it well flush. isn't that pretty what? okay two more this one when I drip super glue on okay, now we can start putting in some of these we love these um, these were from Joann's a while ago I have these threads in here that's weird this is part of their bloom collection they're called Firelight. They're $7.99. Uh, let me give it the number. You might be able to see if they have them listed. Um, 1-8-8-0-5-8-6-1. Okay. So you can cut these into three. Actually, four. Okay. 
I have quite a few of these. I was going to use them for, um, I think it was New Year's one year, and I just never got around to it. Y'all, I, you'd be proud of me. I sold about half of my flowers, most of my attachments, in mystery boxes. So I have so much more room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put one of these at the top. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I can't because I've got that zip tied. So, I'm going to put some glue here. And then put it right in plain for that. I'm going to find a spot to do that. These are all wired, so you can even cut these even more if you want. So I like them long and wispy. Let's see if I can right here. I feel like I'm stepping on something. So I don't think I'm going to need all of them. So I think I'm only going to need this one because I'm going to need to put the one down at the bottom. And then I'm going to still have two more. Yay! I'm going to put one down on the bottom and then three on the sides. So that'll give me the four. This was part of their Christmas... Um, so anytime you see like copper or gold or anything like that, you can use it for Halloween, New Year's, you can even use it for Valentine's, spring. These would be really pretty for spring, even though they're evergreen. It's okay. okay put this one down at the bottom. stuff that I know I'm not going to use it all, but I never know what I'm going to kind of put into it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of go across with this one like that here, behind this purple flower. Kind of put them directly across from each other. 
It doesn't have to be perfect when you cross from each other, but bend this a little bit. This one right back here. I probably wasn't going to use half of what I brought, but that's okay. I used to really kind of shy away from stuff that stick up, stuck out, because I was always afraid that it, it didn't, didn't look right, but I've gotten over that fear. <laughs> I put it on my hand. There we go. Okay. There she is so far. I'm going to have to put you out a little bit more. The bigger she gets, the more I'm like, woo! Okay. Um, so I've got some of these. Let's see. Oh my god. These are kind of cool. I might put some of these in there. It's got that copper on them. Let's see. Let's see what I got here. So I got those. I'm going to use one of these. I'm going to kind of just take out. I don't know if I'm going to use. These are too springy, I think, for me. So I'm going to use that. Um, I got some ooh, velvet purple flowers. I'm going to use one of these. I know that. So I've got two of those. I'm going to make sure I put these out of my mystery box. <laughs> um, I have some of these. But... I think I'm going to save them for more fall. That came with it. I don't know why I put that in there. Um, I've got some black bunny tails I know I'm going to use. I've got another one of these, but I'm going to save it. I'm just going to go on through my stuff so I can see what I've got. Um, I've got these purple berries, so I think I'm going to use these purple berries. And I bought one of these and one of these, but I don't think I'm going to use it. And these were the gold ones I was talking about. Yeah, I don't... It's got too much gold in it. So, we'll save those. Right. And I got these. Uh, I might add some of these. I don't know. These, Hobby Lobby has these every year. So I get stuck up for the tons of these. All right, let's see what we got here. You don't want some black bunny tails because you want a little bit of black in there. Um, let's put let's put some of these in there. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of break these up into two pieces per branch. This one will have three on it. And I'll give you the number for this in a second here. And there I got it. Okay, so this one. Some of these will have three on it, which is okay. So I got this at, um, the at-home store last year, it was $6.99, and the number is 1243353301. So some of this stuff was Christmas, y'all. I mean, yeah, it's got pine cones on it, but it's a very fall color. I mean, this would be really good in like a um, rustic Christmas. Did they drip any more blue on it? 
Oh. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm going to stick this one. Put a shorter one there. Okay. I get a wild hair with that hot glue, you know that? I don't like it. Alright, oops. I'm just gonna put this one like right there, baby. Right there. Use these sparingly. That's all right there. And I think I'm going to stick this one right back in here. I'm going to take this one off because if I put this back there, you can't see it. I really do know what I'm doing, you guys. I do. Some days it's just easier to design than others, that's all. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay. And I'm just going to take this one off. Okay, I'm going to put this one right over right here. have to look and make sure I'm still recording. Well, let's see. Let's stick on. Too. It was driving me nuts. It was driving me nuts. Let's put this one like right here. Or let's do this one right there. this one a little bit. I'm going to stick this one right underneath here. Okay, there we go. I'm going to step back and take a look at it. Okay, I know where I need this one now. So, I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to stick it in here. I just 
sneak me out and go in where I put it. Just go in there. I guess somebody must be here. That's okay. My husband's home. You were right there a second ago, and now you don't want to go back in there. Okay, let's see here. It's like an awesome. All right, let's put some of these purple or some of these um, purple berries in there. I can get them untangled. there. You can also bend these a little bit too. Mm 
Bend this one a little bit. We're almost done. I'm gonna finish up putting these in, and then I got some of so those purple um, leaves, and then some of the little black bunny tails, and we'll be done. I would say don't do something so big for example I just uh, I sold my big huge macaroon swag that I made I mean it was awesome because it was huge and it was big and I had seven six or seven of the seven inch macaroons in it but it was it took a 52 inch box and it was $79 to ship it. So you got to be careful of how big you do them. Like this, even though it's huge, I can put it in a 24 by 24 by 10 inch box. Because if you put them in diagonal instead of right inside the box, you've got more room diagonally than you do straight in. Okay. Over here, behind here. Okay, this will also help the ribbons kind of stand up. I may need one more because. I want to put two at the top and then maybe a couple more down at the bottom. And this came off. Yeah. Hold on, I guess I should have put this on before. Again, these you can get these from the Hobby Lobby every fall. They carry them. 
Um, it's eleven ninety nine. The number is five one one six two three one. So if you guys are wanting to learn how to um, make wreath designs like this, I do have a private design group. Um, it is a monthly subscription and it's $27 a month, um, but you don't, you get more than just um, designs. Like I have a sewing class in there as well as um, a business class. So we do sewing, business, um, you know, sometimes we'll do attachments, fake bakes, centerpieces, lantern swags, garlands, um, regular teardrop swags. So we do a lot. And there's three designers, myself, and Kim from Forever Works and Kristen from The Wraith Lane, both very talented ladies. And, um, let's see this right there. So, you would get three design tutorials a week, um, a business training class once a week, and sewing classes are every other week. Um, I have, oops, I have the link down below if that's something you're interested in as well. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Alright. I'm going to put it on my table then. It's on the carpet. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's put in. Let's put on some of these purple berries. These are also from Regency. Do we really need two tags on one pick? <laughs> I only need one. Okay, so I'll take that one off. This one off. And this one out. Okay. Let's look at two of them over there too. We went a little crazy with the on each side. right there.
Okay. Let's three more. Sticking straight out. All right. Put this one here. These are also from, well, I don't know. But the tag doesn't say, it just gives me a number. But I think I got these on um, Etsy last year. Them, but I think it's a little much. Yeah. I'm gonna save these. I can use them for a different design. Put them back in this bag. I don't know sometimes when I should put it in there. I'm gonna add that black though. And then the other one. What's going in the bag? <laughs> Okay. These are awesome. I think I got these at, um, it doesn't have a tag on it. I think I got them from Hobby Lobby. These will give it some dark wispiness. Mm-hmm. 
stems are very fragile, so let's try putting that back there again. There. I guess I just didn't like that one. of each other. Let's fix this mess over here real quick. I'm trying to make these kind of 
call Alpha Spray Party. It's in front of this sign. Better. She turned out amazing. I hope you like her. Um, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. And I hope you have a blessed holiday. Bye.